is Dancing Dolls and the Dazzling Stars in the final round. I'm gonna be competing in the coaches' battle. I have injuries. I have not gotten out on the stage in years. All right, y'all pay attention. We are going to Clarksdale, Mississippi, and the competition is called Bring the Heat. The Dancing Dolls are gonna be competing in the stand battle, and I'm gonna be competing in the coaches' battle. Trying to balance competing and coaching at the same time, it's probably the worst position to be in, because you're trying to focus on yourself, but you gotta focus on the team because they are the priority. On top of the stand battle, you guys have a coaches' battle. It's not even y'all, it's me. I'm gonna be the one that's gonna have to get up there and dance. I have not gotten out on the stage and done anything full out in a competition setting in years. I'm sure the girls are like, okay, is this old lady gonna be able to pull it off? Going into today's competition, I'm overly concerned. You know, the girls had probably the worst practice in dancing doll history. Y'all not together. Everybody's not dancing full out. Everybody's arms and legs are not moving the way they're supposed to. I'd rather y'all not compete than to get up there and embarrass yourself on Sunday. Then I realized, wait a minute. What am I teaching them by saying we're just not gonna do it? It's basically telling them that it's okay to give up and it's not okay. I teach the girls to fight and never just walk away from something that you know that you can do. The competition is called Bring the Heat. And I'm hoping that my dancing dolls bring the heat today because last night it was cold as ice. I'm excited about competing in the coaches' battle. I love being, you know, the center of attention where girl does it. But at the same time, you know, I have injuries. I like being able to dance, and I don't want to dance in pain. In my mind, the only thing I can think of is don't mess up, don't mess up, don't fall, don't kill yourself, don't go overboard, but put on a show. Bringing the heat, our final coach for this competition. You all know her. You better make some noise for Miss D. I can only imagine now what the judges are thinking. Who in the hell does Miss D think she is? I'm the head doll in charge. I'm gonna make sure that when I take this floor, that everybody in the building remembers my name. I'm doing the coaches solo for a number of reasons, but one of the main reasons is to show the girls that even though the pressure is on me and I have a million and one things going on, I can still find a balance and get out there and perform. Maybe if a little bit of what I'm doing would show them that, hey, you know what, if Miss D can do it, then I can do it too. Going into the whole competition this week, I, I had no time to practice on my own solo. My nerves were so wrapped with what I'm supposed to do with the girls for the stand battle that I couldn't focus on me. But I was able to get up there and do what I needed to do and pull it off. When I saw Miss D do that death drop, I'm like, it's all over with. I'm actually extremely proud of myself. I did that toe touch, and I'm still walking. I did everything that I thought that I was supposed to do to represent the team well and to channel all the energy from every one of the girls that are on my squad. I just did what I felt like I needed to do. The championship round, ladies and gentlemen. is Dancing Dolls and the Dazzling Stars in the final round. I do not know who the Dazzling Stars are. I have never seen them before in my life.
the dazzling stars are coming out guns blazing. I'm trying to figure out where this team come from. Like, who are they? Kayla just gave them the business. The Dazzling Stars captain did not back down. She stepped out and was like, uh-huh, yeah, I did that, I sure did. I said, okay, girl, this is gonna be interesting. There's no such thing as a perfect battle because nobody is perfect. But I plan on taking home that trophy this week. It's time for the award ceremony and all I can do is hold my breath and just hope for the best. You know, I did what I was supposed to do in the coaches battle. Okay, we're gonna start with this coaches solo at first place. The fact that they can see me as their coach get in front of them and perform and do well makes me feel really, really good. And I'm hoping that this moment is gonna teach my squad something. If I can get out there and I can do this and accomplish this with minimal practice, then they can do anything. We're gonna do stand battle. And now it's time for the stand battle. This is the final competition of the year. Last year at Battle Royale, we were taken off guard with that loss. So I'm hoping that this year, we're gonna complete the season with the win. First place. You're on the edge of your seat. It's pins and needles. You don't know what to think. Nobody in the room is breathing because they're holding their breath to see who's going to win. The dancing We have reached the end of the road, and the girls basically showed me that with hard work, determination, and a little kick in the pants, they can actually do what is necessary to get out there and win. First place in stand battle. You guys did an amazing job today. The dancing dolls came out as true champions. They earned it. The girls proved me completely wrong. When we win against teams that are just as good as we are, it's like winning the Super Bowl. I'm going to Disney World. Yes, thank you, thank you. The girls have done so good and they have every reason to be proud.